Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we're looking at our Swagman XC2 two bike rack here on our 2018 Kia Optima. So the Swagman XC2 is a nice minimalistic simple bike rack. So if you're looking for something that is a platform rack, is affordable and can get your bike from point A to point B without the extra frills that you may not want or need, this might be a good option for you. So first, let's talk about how our bike is mounted to this bike rack. We have two wheel loops. These wheel loops do not have straps, but they fit around your bike's wheel. What really holds it down is this frame mount in the center. So when you wanna take your bike off, what you need to do is to lift that clamp up. So hold onto your bike as you do so. Press this button and lift up the first hook. Now you can just lift it slightly up, just enough to get space, but what I like to do is I like to take the extra time to take them all the way off of the mast. And from here, you can either slide it back, or if you really want to, you could just take this pin out, push this mast all the way down, that way it's only a slight lift, and then you're ready to go on a bike ride. Now with that bike out of the way, we get to take a closer look here at our wheel loops. So we have adjustable wheel loops. If you rotate this knob, you can then move those loops back and forth. That way if you have your two bikes on there and your handlebars tend to hit your um, seat on the other one, you can just move them away. And then tighten them back down so that they are secure. Then you have this middle mast. So it's a nice and simple design. They use these pins to secure them, so just line them up with the holes and push those pins all the way through. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how this ratchets down. So you just get that into place and you can see as you push down it ratchets down so it doesn't come up if you don't press that lever, but it goes down. Let's get that up there. So there's one and then two, right? there that's in place so then if you want to open your trunk you can see that with the hoops in place you still have clearance if you do want a little bit of extra clearance you can move them down or up whichever way you want to go now this does have a weight capacity of 35 pounds per bike if you have your extra heavy electric bikes this may not be the best option but most of your average bikes are usually within that 35 pound weight capacity. You're also gonna have some length added to the back of your vehicle. So we'll take some measurements. Measuring from our rear bumper to the end of the bike rack, which is gonna be by these loops, it sits at 19 and three quarter inches. So that's really compact for a two bike platform rack. Awesome because then whenever you're backing into the garage or parking into a tight spot, that's what that's the length you're gonna have to think about now let's take a look at ground clearance so ground clearance is gonna be over here underneath that shank where it connects to the mast it sits at 12 and a half inches underneath the loops it's 15 and a half inches then underneath the shank where the hitch receiver is it's nine inches so note how you have a slight shank rise which is great because on your optima you have, you're staying lower to the ground than your trucks or your bigger SUVs. You want that ground clearance because whenever you go up steep inclines, like your driveways or your hills, what's gonna happen is as your front goes up, your back goes down and so do your bikes. So make sure to have enough ground clearance for those steep inclines. Now, another thing you can do here is this does not fold up or tilt away, but it does have a storage portable position. So we're gonna take a look at that. We have these arms that create our tray. Now if we pull this pin, we can actually push these arms up. So just line it up with a hole up there, just like that. So that's one, and let's get this second one. Push it up, lined up, and secured. All right, so this is gonna be the Swagman XC2 portable position. This is ideal for when you want to store it in your garage, or if you just want it a little bit more portable on your vehicle, you can fold it up like this. 
In this position, you can still open your trunk, which is nice. You also have your rear window open, your tail lights are visible. Now your backup camera sits right over here, as does your license plate. So if you want full visibility out of your camera, I just recommend driving around with either the bike rack off or with the arms down so you get that full view behind you. Let's talk about how this fits into our hitch. So this has an inch and a quarter shank. And what we have on our Kia Optima right now is a class one inch and a quarter shank. So not many bike racks can fit a class one hitch, but this can. This has an anti-rattle bolt and a clip. Now with that tightened down, you get a tool for it. I do recommend picking up a socket with a three, a socket wrench with a three quarter socket. That's what I use because it's so much easier that way. But with that tightened down, note at where the shank is, when you shake the shank, you're mainly shaking the vehicle. Now these arms are gonna have a little bit of sway, especially when they are in the upright position, but in the downward position with the bike on there, that's gonna be steady. What you wanna avoid is any bike rack that does not have that anti rail bolt. That bolt is nice because then you can decrease the sway and as you go on the road with those bumps, as well as with those holes, it's gonna be a smoother ride for your bikes overall. Okay, so my final thoughts about this bike rack is it is nice, it's simple, it's minimalistic. If you're looking for other premium features like integrated cable locks or front wheel clamps, we have those options here at eTrailer as well. But if you just want a platform rack that is affordable, simple and gets you from point A to point B with no fuss, this may be a good option for your Optima. So that was a look at the Swagman XC2 2 bike rack here on our 2018 Kia Optima. This is our test course. Let's start with the slalom. This shows side to side action such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. Then onto our alternating speed bumps. This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or even uneven pavement. Last of all, the solid speed bumps. This shows up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage, or driving in and out of a driveway.